It's Tuesday with Pastor Pappy, and today we're going to learn about helping others. Here's Dash. My name is Dash, and this is the Kids Bible Vlog! President Dash has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Well, that's what I thought when I decided to run for class president. I was working on my campaign slogans the other day when my dad came in. Oh, running for president, I see. Just like your old man. Yup, yeah, how's this sound? Make a splash, vote for Dash. Catchy. So, what are your ideas on how to help your school? My what? Your ideas. I mean, the president is supposed to represent the students to make things better for everyone, right? Oh, right. I guess I wasn't really focused on what I would do with the position and more of... How cool it would sound to be called President Dash? Yeah. Well, take it from me. Leadership is a lot more than just looking cool. I've learned that the hard way. It's actually about serving others. Take your mom, for instance. Have you seen how messy this kitchen is? It's a disaster because she's been cooking casseroles all day. She took one to the Jenkins family because their dad just passed away. And one to the neighbor who just had a baby. And when she gets back from delivering the food, she plans to clean all this up and make dinner for our family. She doesn't have to do any of that, but she cares about the people she wants to help. If you want to know what a real leader looks like, just watch your mom. Dad's words remind me of a story in the Bible. One time, a couple of Jesus' disciples got their mom to ask him who would get to sit in the place of honor in God's kingdom. Come on, mom, just ask him for us. You know I deserve to sit next to him. No way, mom. He loves me more. Oh, yeah? And Jesus shut them down. He said, whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first among you must become your slave. And that's when I decided maybe I'm not quite ready to run for class president. But I can follow Jesus' example and practice serving others now. Mom cried when she found out I cleaned the kitchen. And it felt really good to help her out. If there's one thing to remember today, it's this. I will help others. I will look for ways to be a servant. There are lots of different ways you can serve others. You can help someone with their homework, help a teacher organize art supplies, or even clean a messy kitchen. We should always be looking for ways to serve others. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you here next time at the Kids Bubble Club! In today's Bible story, James and John really wanted Jesus to treat them like they were great or important. This wasn't exactly a bad thing. Jesus does think we're important, and it's okay to want to make Jesus happy. But James and John's idea of how to become great eh, wasn't quite right. So Jesus showed them what it meant to be great in his way. It's a good thing to want to be great at what you do. Some of you might want to be doctors or policemen or teachers or bosses or parents one day. And these are all great jobs. We just need to ask ourselves two things. Why do I want to do this? And does it line up with what Jesus wants for me? People can sometimes be selfish without realizing it. A lot of times, we don't realize we're being selfish. We, we don't want to act that way, but it kind of sneaks up on us. Then before we know it, the people around us are getting hurt because we're selfish. That's what James and John found out pretty quick. The other disciples got angry at James and John. Maybe they wanted Jesus to think they were important too. They could have wanted to take the great spot for themselves. So Jesus talked to all of them. And Jesus wanted the disciples to see that grabbing power was, that's something that ungodly people do. Jesus wanted his followers to be different. The greatest people, they help others. What Jesus said sounded kind of like opposites that don't go together leaders or servants the people in first place they serve the disciples they were probably confused they knew Jesus was the son of God but what he said about himself didn't match what they were thinking they thought that the Messiah was going to take over the world be their new king they thought Jesus would show his power and his strength, put the Jews back in charge of their own country. 
But Jesus came as a servant. And serving isn't easy. It means putting other people first. It means helping even when it's not easy. It means giving up what we want for someone else's good. But this is exactly what Jesus did. He gave up a lot, even his life, so people could be with him forever. Jesus knew we could never pay him back, but he served us anyway because he loved us. That's what true greatness looks like. It looks like Jesus. Lord, help us be great by being great helpers. In your holy name we pray, amen. God bless you. See you next Tuesday.